Hi guys. I'm here. Tell me as you come. We are going to be doing some blending, a little bit of um, blending, a little bit of an ombre kind of a look. This is a kind of a, a cool little piece, but it's pretty boring. So it has little handles here. You open like this and like this underneath has little scoops underneath there. So we're going to go ahead and um, blend. So we're going to use DIYs. We're going to be using crinoline and weathered wood. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and say hi. If you want to, I'll keep turning it around. Hi there, Mandy. Nice to see you from Australia. Thanks for coming. All right, we're using a Klingon S50. Um, again, weathered wood, crinoline, and of course we've got water here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get started. Basically what we're gonna do is get a base coat of um, crinoline on here. I am going to have to sand the top down. It's really, really dinged up, so I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll we'll just do the this, because that's gonna need some sanding. And it's cold outside right now. I don't wanna go out there. So I won't be doing that today. Hi. Thank you guys for coming. I've been struggling with videos lately, and I apologize. It just, I don't know, the holidays kinda got me down. My, um, my mom died last Christmas, so. It's just kind of been messing with my brain and um so i haven't been doing too much i apologize for that but i'm trying trying i've got all the doggies out here with me they like to hang out with me while i paint so you might see them walking around what are you guys up to oh thank you i wish i had if i had an ipad I would have it down here so I could read the comments faster, um, but I don't have one. I just have my phone, so apologize for that. That's something that I'm trying to save for, um, or at least another, another something so I can see the comments better, you know? But for now, we're just gonna have to do our best. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the way around. This, this base coat doesn't need to look pretty, just needs to be on there. And that way we can um, go ahead and start doing some blending. Hi from Toronto, Canada. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of people from Canada. I guess you do. That's silly, but I meant on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers are from Canada, I've been noticing, um, that I watch. I watch this one girl named Sunny. I can't even pronounce her last name, but she's a YouTube influencer. Kind of tells you to like helps you with how to grow your channel. And um, she's from Canada, too. I'm sure there's a lot of people from Canada. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Kind of funny, huh? No, that was a silly comment. Sorry. Someday. I went to Canada when I was little, but I was like seven, so I don't remember it. I will go again someday. And Australia, too. That's on my bucket list. My daughter, I am, some of you may know, my daughter's in the Air Force, and she's actually stationed in Okinawa right now. And um, she's up for, for re, um, whatever, to get be sent somewhere else. I'm not really sure how you say that, but um, she is thinking that she's going to end up close to home, because we're in New Mexico. That's where my store is in Albuquerque, and... Um, or in New Mexico, but she's actually thinking that she might end up in Utah um, or Colorado or Arizona. So I'm pretty stoked on that. But then last night she kind of threw a bomb in there that um, that she's gonna put in for Egypt. Yeah, it would be great, Mary. But yeah, no, she said she's gonna put in for Egypt. She's not sure if she'll get it. I'm like Egypt, baby, come home. She's like, no. If I can go to Egypt, I'm going to Egypt, mom. I'm like, okay. But I would really prefer Utah or Arizona. One state away sounds better. So I did make her, she'll be home in March no matter what, because that's, you know, no matter where she goes, she gets to go home for a little bit before she goes. So I will see her then. I made her, I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see that sign over there? It says welcome home on it. I made her that sign the other day. 
And um, I was going to make it Christmassy because it was Christmas. And I was like, well, that's silly because she's not going to be here at Christmas. So I will make it for her kind of springy when she comes home. All right. So when we're working on things like this, these doors do actually come out a little bit because they have this little handle. So I always open those up and get the lips. Um, I know a lot of you and you guys have seen a lot of ladies that paint with the drawers in. And I... If I can, I most definitely am going to, especially if I'm going to be doing any blending. Um, now, if I was just going to paint this solid, solid, I would probably take out the drawers, um, but I'm not. So when blending, you know, if you have the drawers in, it's really a lot easier to get a good look. Um, if you have the drawers out, it's really kind of not going to match. You're going to have discrepancies in your blending job. At least I am. So that's why I kind of do what I'm doing. Just leave them in. All right, so we've got a decent base coat, but I'm gonna get it a little heavier up here on this top drawer. And I'm putting it on kind of thin, not too thick. Whenever you're worried about brush strokes, water is gonna be your biggest friend if you're worried about that. I'm gonna be using water here in a minute, so I'm not worried about it right now. Because as I spray it, it'll reactivate and um, knuckles stuff um, that will make it smooth for me anyways. Oh, let's get a little bit more over here. I'm gonna try to go around that corner a little bit. That just helps when you're blending to make the corners. Like that, let's get a little bit more here. So you guys still here? Let me push this up, notifications. 20 of you, awesome, okay. So let's just keep on going. Did you guys, everybody have a nice Christmas, I hope? Hopefully you did. My husband bought me the coolest jacket at, um, at a vintage store. I just love it, it's, it's long. It's like probably down to my calves. Um, but it's, it's made of faux leather and faux fur, but it's like from the 60s. It's so, it's so cool. I can't wait to wear it. Yay. Yeah. Good, Mary. Yes, my, my Christmas was very quiet too. Just my other two girls and my husband and the dogs. Um, my mom's gone now and my dad lives in California. And my Aunt Kathy, um, after my mom passed, she decided to move to Louisiana where her, um, her kids are. Made sense for her. She didn't need to be here with, um, when my mom was gone. So yeah, there's, and my husband's family is all in California or Las Vegas, Nevada. So that's it, it's just us. Um, so what happens, my girls, they go to their dad's every Christmas Eve they go over there. Oh, so I'm adding in some weathered wood now. Can you see down there? Let me lower this a little bit. So they go to, um, on Christmas Eve, they go to their dad's family. And then Christmas Day, they stay here with me. So it actually works out really well. Um, they don't have to go back and forth. And, and they don't have to do anything anyways. They're, they're 21 and 20, so they can do what they want. But it's the way they do it. All right, so let's go. I'm thinking we're kind of going to do like an ombre effect. We're going to go with the weathered wood now. Weathered wood is like a brownie gray kind of a color. So we're going to go here and we're going to go up. So this will have just a little bit and we're going to just keep it darker down here. Yay, you got tools. That's always a wonderful, wonderful gift. Yay. The next, not the next, it'll be forever before I get one, but I really want a lace. You guys know what a lathe is? I barely know. I barely know what a lathe is, but that's what you can use to make um, like table legs and um, stuff like that. Cause I would love, 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 love to be able to make, table legs are so like the big chunky farmhouse ones. Those things are so expensive. So to be able to make your own out of like four by four would just be amazing. Um, so someday, I don't see it happening anytime soon, but. I'm hoping. All right, so we're just gonna start. We're always just give it a little squirt as you're going. That's gonna really help your paint blend. 
If you get too much water, that's okay. Just kind of chill out for a minute, let it dry a little bit, and, um, and then go back in with your paint. Let's go ahead and hit these doors. So again, a little mist here. And this is when you really, 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 DIY is a thick paint, it's clay-based. So this is when you can really make it nice and smooth it's by adding just that little bit of water and um, getting some movement with it. I tend to always go back and forth, so kind of hashtaggy, like, and that's really gonna help you just to get those colors blended nicely. And it's a quick, easy way to do it. I'm always kind of gonna do this number. And if you don't like it, again, you can always do it again. I'm so not comfortable. So, all right. Let's go over here. And we'll get that blended in. I'll get into these spots here. So I already don't like, this is too light down here, but it's also too wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a little bit. And then we will add some more in there. What, Bentley? I mean, my kitty wants to go back inside now. I'm gonna have to get up here in a second. Going this way. Well, that baby. So I really like how easy that is. Easy way to do it. Make that blending nice. You just be really gentle with your dragging. I'm gonna let my cat inside. I'll be right, right back. Come on, Beth. Come on, buddy. Come on. In you go. Go, 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 go. Okay, sorry about that. He always wants to be out, but he doesn't want to stay long. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dip in a little bit again. Let's go ahead and go, I'm gonna go up here and then we'll go back down in some blending, okay? So I'm thinking this piece is so blah, that it's probably gonna need a transfer or some kind of IOD products. You guys using the IOD, are you enjoying it? Tell me if anybody has used it, used them, and what you've used. We do sell all these products and we ship as fast as we can. So if you haven't tried them, we will get them to you. You can get them on my website at Windmill Vintage Designs. I'll put the link after, but. But we ship same day, so you get them really fast, and our rates are really reasonable, so. Something to keep in mind. Let's do that. So that weathered wood just gives you a really nice light gray when you blend it. There you go, all your Joanna Gaines fans. You get, get your neutrals with a little bit of something to them instead of just plain neutral. All right, I'm pretty happy with that top drawer. What do you guys think? It's kind of good? All right, so we're gonna start going down here and then I think we're gonna get darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dip into my crinoline first. And let's hit here. Um, let's do the same thing over here. We can try to make these pretty symmetrical. They don't have to be matchy matchy, but it needs to be pleasing to the eye, right? I'll get some in here.
So what other kind of videos do you guys watch on YouTube? Do you just watch painting tutorials? I really small roller dolly. Ah, that's a good idea. You know what? I have a really cool one. It's not that one, but I have one over here. But then I would have had to raise this otherwise. Um, do you carry little baby elephants? No, we don't have any elephants. Oh, you watch cooking channels also? Very cool. I was actually thinking of starting a different channel. I'm gonna go into my weathered wood just a tiny bit and go right here again, right over the crinoline. Um, I was thinking of doing like hair and makeup kind of a thing, I don't know. Um, of course, keeping this channel too, but some really good products out there for that kind of stuff, so. Kind of thinking of doing that but then i'll be begging all you guys to go over so <laughs> my channel will be so small we're growing it's a slow process oh i don't know who knows guys i'm trying really hard to end up not having to go back to work i was a dental hygienist for a very long time in the dental field for 23 years and I was very burnt out. And so we, you know, we opened the store and my husband got to quit his job and go work over there, but I had to keep working. And then it wasn't until my mom passed away that I started, that I was able to join him at the store. But we're still a very small store, so I have to, I don't want to, I don't want to clean teeth. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right? Okay, let's see if we can darken up. What do you guys think so far? Is it kind of looking pretty? This is kind of bugging me here right here. I think I'm gonna take that down a little bit. All right. So I think we're gonna go from like right here and we're gonna get pretty dark here now. But I think the way we'll do it is we'll start down here and then go up so that we don't make it all too dark. So what's happening is when I spray, the water is like um, puddling on this little lip right here. And so it's just staying too wet down there. Oh, this one you need a fan or you could even get the blow dryer if you wanted to speed up that drying process. All right, weathered wood, here we go down here. Just keep messing around with it until you get it the way you want it. Or at least that's what I do. Up. One thing to always remember is that when you're trying just to really, really, I have to remind myself all the time to be gentle really gentle or else I go too hard. I had, tend to be heavy handed, which is why I'm not a good hygienist. <laughs> know what I mean? So we're gonna smooth up. Elephants would be a cute transfer. I like that idea. No, we don't have any elephants. I don't know what exactly you're working on, but remember you can always um, do your own transfer, print it off the internet on your laser jet, and then um, use your transfer medium. The Patina works really well for transferring also. And um, you could do that for whatever project you're working on. Alright. 
that. Let's let that dry a little bit. And let's go over here. And darken this up. Anybody didn't do anything fun for New Year's? I'm not, but maybe you are. I'd like to go to Colorado to see Miss Carrie, but man, those storms over there are crazy. I'm not, not into driving up in the mountains in the storms. It's scary. See if we can blend that, but just really drag it up. And then drag it up over here. See if we can get rid of any lines. No harsh lines, don't want those. Not too shabby, too shabby. Let's hit this over here a little bit. down here and we are just about done with this part. I'll have to wait for all this to dry till before we move on to the next step. guys thank you so much for watching hi hey hey you fashion top and how are you well thank you guys for watching i think i'm just gonna cover this up a little bit right here bring that down and that's about it thank you and if you guys hit that share button for me that would be so awesome and that like one tell facebook that you or facebook tell youtube actually like what you're seeing that would be great and i appreciate it and i will see you soon i'll um once i figure out what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna put ladies in waiting on here you're welcome lauren let me show you guys which transfer that is i'm thinking it might be really pretty just to give it a little bit of color and probably just one of them so this is ladies in waiting um and there's four different flower bundles on here so i'm thinking maybe I don't know, I'm thinking maybe this one right here and just kind of put it this way. Um, so it won't, it won't be balanced, but it'll still look pretty cool, I think. So that is probably my plan, unless my plan changes because they, they, we do that a lot. We change plans, right? All right, guys, you guys are awesome and I'll see you soon. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.